In the time that I've been practicing, you know, there's always new technology, new techniques being developed. Um, I think it's when you're in it, it seems to not be that rapid of progress, but then if you just look back 10 years and you see what we're able to do now that we weren't able to do then, it's kind of amazing. We have all of these new catheters, new wires, new embolic products that allow us to treat a lot of things that we, we couldn't 10 to 20 years ago. You know, a long time ago, there was chemotherapy and there was radiation, and now there are a lot of other treatments that we can provide with image guidance. Um, if you have for instance, small tumors in your kidney or small tumors in your liver, we can put a small needle, a special ablation probe in them, ablate that. Um, it's a procedure that's outpatient, takes a couple of hours, and then patients go home the same day and the tumor is gone. You know, in years past, really the main stay of treatment has been hysterectomy. But in the past 20 years, there's been the development of a new procedure, which has about a 90% success rate that women seem to really like. A lot of women don't want a hysterectomy, they want to keep their uterus. So we can go in with a tiny little catheter into the arteries that supply the uterus, um, leave behind tiny little beads in those arteries that slow down the blood flow and it causes those tumors to shrink and the symptoms to resolve. They love that it's you know minimally invasive and that they don't have to take six weeks off of work. Um, that can get up and going a little bit faster and that it wasn't as scary of a thing as they thought it was going to be. I think, you know, things are always changing and things are always evolving, but knowing that the services that we provide, all, you know, all the new things that are always available that allow us to reach more people and treat more people and enhance their lives and care, that keeps me coming back every day. I love getting to know my patients. I love the patient-physician relationship. I, you know, I like for my patients to feel comfortable with me, to trust me, to help them make important decisions about their health, um, and then to let me share in their experience.